what is the risk investment profile how how the risk investment profile looks of mutual fund so we whatever we have studied till now is all about a uh, mutual fund but as an investment investor when all these four sides of this box has to get looked into when you invest into a mutual fund what are the four side of the box one is the tenure of the investment for what tenure you want to invest what is your return expectations how tax friendly the funds will be and what are the risk profile of each funds okay so when we say the tenure of investments if you if your tenure is just away for a shorter duration let's say 6 to 12 months okay the return expectation of that will also be lower okay and the risk will also be low but that they but you have to pay a huge tax on whatever you have earned so what type of funds this will be this will be a liquid fund short term debt funds or a medium and long term debt funds so these are the funds which will be categorized here for shorter duration for lower return lower risk and lower tax friendliness okay you have to pay a huge tax on whatever return you are earning on that in case of 1 to 3 years of mutual fund 1 to 3 years of mutual funds if you are selecting your investment horizon of 1 to 3 years the return will vary from 0 to a uh, 0 to uh, 0 to 8 percent then over 12 percent also so it varies all, across the scale but also the risk becomes from lower to very high so if you are deciding on 1 to 3 years you can invest in arbitrage fund or short term debt funds or a medium and long term debt fund or into a balanced fund or into a sector funds but again the tax friendliness is also a very medium see same way if you are looking on to 4 to 7 years of uh, investment horizon again your return will be definitely higher from 8% above 8% again that's an hybrid funds balanced funds and sector funds the risk will also increases and if you are thinking for a longer term horizon you should always look for an equity funds large cap equity funds mid cap and small cap equity large cap funds will have definitely a lower risk but again a lower return tax friendliness is also very high because you have to it is exempted any long term gains that you gain from earning uh, uh, from earning a return from the mutual fund are exempted if it is lesser than 1 lakh rupees so it's very tax friendly so mid cap small cap funds will have a higher risk but they will also have a higher return it can go over 12% also so this is how the risk investment profile of a mutual fund looks like but till now whatever we have learned about mutual fund is starting from what is mutual fund understanding what are the different investment style that a fund manager adopts uh, from that we have looked into the advantages of investing in a mutual funds okay then we have learned about a uh, mutual fund and then different investment styles of mutual fund then we seen advantages and different types of mutual funds that are available in the market how to select the types of mutual funds and in which schemes you need needs to uh, uh needs to invest into and we also look into based on your investment horizons and based on your risk return profile and tax friendliness you should select the funds based on this three uh four important parameters so here that that's how we have uh, completed the understanding about the mutual fund then there is a different product altogether uh, which is called to be a bond right so we'll be having uh, what is a, a basically a debt instrument okay so what is debt instrument so when we say a uh, uh, debt instrument is completely different than the equity investment so whatever we have learned till now we have learned about the equity investments now whatever we are going to learn is about the debt uh, debenture basically bonds and debentures where a particular investors want to invest their money it's not very famous in indian markets it's not very so people are generally not interested in investing in the debt mutual fund and therefore they are very highly illiquid so when you see in overall market also they are highly illiquid they are traded in the exchanges as well but there 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 is a liquidity is not much so it's very insignificant liquid uh, liquid uh, they are insignificantly illiquid and therefore the people are less interested in putting their money into the debt fund because they provide you the very lower return as compared to equity funds but yes definitely the risk here is very low so only the conservative investors who wants to invest the money they invest into the debt instruments